Hi guys, I'm fighting off a little bit of a cold, but I thought I would do just a quick video for you guys. I get a lot of questions on Conad, and that's what I use to do this manicure here. Um, I'm not going to be showing you on my nails, since I obviously do already have my nails done, but I'm just going to go over kind of what Conad is and how you use it. So, Conad is a nail stamping system that uses these little image plates. Um, they're engraved with designs, and when you put polish on there, then you can stamp them onto your nails. And as far as I know, Conad is the original uh, brand that had this out, but there are also uh, Bundle Monster plates, which are almost the same, although you can see, like, the back isn't finished and the edge is actually a lot sharper than the Conad brand nameplates. Um, I've also recently gotten these other plates um, from Born Pretty. You can see these are very similar but instead of being round they have an octagonal shape and while the brand name Conad plates are ready to use right out of the packaging um, most of the generic ones or the Phonad plates as they're called usually come with this little um, kind of plastic covering on them that you do need to peel off before you can use them and I recommend peeling it off with a tweezer because as I said the edges are really sharp and if you're not very careful when you're removing the plastic you can actually cut yourself um, I'm not sure if you can see especially with the light glaring off this but Right on the side here, it has a number. This particular plate has my favorite uh, kind of swirly design on it. This is M63. You can see this plate is M71. Um, even though it's not the same brand, they use the same letters. And then like with the Bundle Monster plates, they start out with BM and the number. Um, there are also other different brands of stamping plates um, like Ches Delaney and some other ones um, if you're looking for actual Conad products um, one place off the top of my head that you can get those is called Wow So Cool um, there are also kiosks like in malls I've gotten a lot of my plates at the state fair and they'll tell you that only the Conad name brand polish will work for stamping. Um, it does work maybe the best for stamping, but there are definitely other colors out there that work as well. Um, it just has to be really thickly pigmented polish that will, you know, basically cover in one coat, or when you stamp the design, it will be really sheer. Um, since I already have my nails done, I'm just going to show you guys kind of on a piece of paper. Um, when you are working, you do need to go as quickly as possible, so I'm going to explain the steps for you guys before I go ahead and do it. Um, once you choose your design, this swirly one is the one I have on my nails right now, you're going to want to cover either the whole design or part of the design with polish. Um, with the bigger design, if you just put it along one side, then as you scrape over it, it will fill in the rest of the design and you'll waste a little less polish. Um, and you do the scraping with the little scraper. Um, most Conant sets come with a metal scraper. This can scratch the plates a little bit. I don't mind because it doesn't affect the way the, the plate works. But if you don't want to scratch your plates, you can also use like an old credit card or gift card and then you pick up the design with this little stamper here and then you stamp it on your nail so that's the basic uh, way that you do it I'm just going to do it on a piece of paper here to show you guys um, and using just the black Conan polish because that's what I have um, out from the manicure that I just did so I'm going to put some just along the top edge up here going to press firmly and scrape against it. You can see it fills in the pattern. Pick it up on the stamper and then stamp it like that on your nail. Um, 
as for cleaning up afterwards and between nails. Um, I think you can see there's a little bit of residue left on the stamper. I just have a small dish of polish remover and a Q-tip. Just get some polish remover on the Q-tip and wipe that off. And, you know, if you have some on the stamper, you want to do that before you do your next nail. You don't have to clean off the plate, but I find that it makes uh, the next design come out better. And, yeah, that's it basically. Um, when you're doing it on your nail, you know, that's really up to you. Some people like to work right on their desk or, you know, table wherever they're working and go like that. Usually I'll hold my nails like this and stamp. Um, obviously kind of closer to my face, not down on the table where the camera can see, but it really is just whatever works for you or even sometimes depending on what kind of image you're doing. So I think I've covered all of the basics of how you can use Conad to get this kind of a look on your nails. And I'm going to do a couple more videos a little later on how to use the different designs. Um, this plate, as you can see, has what are called full nail designs. Although, actually, my nails are long enough that I have to double stamp or use two stamps on each nail. Um, other designs like this are just kind of accent designs. Or there are other plates that have like these little French tip designs just to go on the tip of your nail. So I will probably do three more just kind of small mini tutorials on the different ways that you stamp when you are using those three different kinds of designs. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, like I said, I am kind of fighting off a cold, so I'm not at my best, and I may be missing something here, but I hope that answers your questions if you were curious about Conad, and as always, thanks for watching.